Hello, hello, and welcome to the 3 Up Moon live stream, everybody. It's December 14th, 2021. My name is 3 Up Moon, otherwise known. Well, you can also call me Matt. Sorry, that's usually my name is Matt, and you can all, also call me 3 Up Moon. That's what I meant to say. Um, but either way, welcome to the stream. Um, I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Hope you're having a good week. If you're not, I hope it gets better. Uh, today, we're going to be playing another stream or episode if you will of super mario world randomized we've got about almost 40 runs of the channel or sorry of the game on the channel at this point and basically a run of super mario world randomizer is trying to beat the game with shuffled levels shuffled level phys physics like um, ice physics or water physics or auto scrolling physics or some combination of any of those. Uh, we've got randomized item blocks and power-ups, randomized enemies, randomized secret exits and standard exits, as well as random key locations. The keyholes will all be in the vanilla locations, but the keys will be shuffled. And the seed we're going to play today, actually, you're going to be playing as Luigi. So um, it's not the Super Mario World you may recognize if, you're, if it's your first randomizer you're checking out. I do a ton of retro streaming as well as streaming of uh, retro randomizers like this where we play a ton of different Super Mario randomizers. We've played some 3D ones like Super Mario 64 um, with shuffled attributes. And to me, it's just a really fun way to revisit a retro game. So definitely go check out the big list of game randomizers if you want to try this out yourself. And yeah, we're just using a random seed that we had here. We're just going to have some fun with it. So stick around for Super Mario World Randomizer, up next. Also, thank you so much to Camadeus137 for the recent follow. Really appreciate that. Thank you to the recent donators on Ko-fi as well, helping us get to our streaming PC goal. And also, thanks to those that recently subscribed on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, I believe this is probably upwards near the 30s of uh, what episode this is or what part of the Super Mario World Randomizer series this is. Um, but feel free to scroll through and check out some of the previous attempts. All the seeds are completely different. We've played it in totally different uh, setups as well too with different settings because every randomizer lets you mess with the settings. So yeah, feel free, have fun, watch them on your, on your own time. Oh. Ah, cha Leave it. All right, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Uh, you should be able to see me, and you should also be able to see the game. Let's Hi. go. Let me know if you need less or more game audio. And here we go. Hey. <laughs> we do need a key sound effect, though, like an unlocking. I think that'd be really cool. Sounds good? Awesome. Um, yeah, welcome Nicolette, welcome Shaky Otis, uh -huh. welcome Michelle. Uh -huh. Let's go. You know, I've never tried the two-player randomizer, I think it could be really fun. 
I'm not sure if Michelle's brave enough to try um, a randomizer of this, though, if we're going to do a co-op stream. I do often do co-op streams with my partner where we play Tetris, different versions of Tetris, or we will play um, Mario Golf on N64. <laughs> okay, we got Yoshi's Condo, we got the Pepperoni Mirage 5, which I quite like as a name, and Gnarly. I feel like we should start with Gnarly. Something's telling me. Okay, so it looks like the colors aren't randomized in this. Pepperoni Tony. I feel ya. Oh. Oh, that's rough. Let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Oof. There's an oof moment. Nice. You found a house. You got the place. You haven't moved yet. <clears throat> but you got it. Nice. Awesome. Well, we gotta do this. <clears throat> gotta play a series of fanfares. Oh, hopefully not that last one. Including this one, this finger. <coughs> Excuse me. Yikes. Hopefully, it's not haunted. this level. The Bullet Bill C. Bullet Bill Ocean. Billy Ocean, as they call it. Get out of my sea. And into my car. Easy. 
I guess the volume is fine for the game. It's true. I'm glad you got it. Can't wait till you have like a, uh, till you can have like a settled, relaxed home. You know. Oh. Totally emotionally drained. <clears throat> no. <laughs> I've never seen an enemy spawn at the end of the pitch or the pitch swallows. That's literally what I just said. The pitch swallows. I want my very own swallows. It's like a swagger chalice. Ask swallows when she's ten feet tall. never seen a bullet bill, let alone a bot or any enemy um, that was a bonsai bill. Um, <laughs> I love the sound effects, dude. That's great. I've never seen um, a bullet bill spawn in that area before. Also, hey, hey, we got ourselves a three at moon level. Let's go. That three up moon emote ready. We've got a bunch of them. A bunch of different emotes to choose from. If you're one of our tier one, two, or three subscribers, if you've unlocked your own version of the emote, feel free to drop it. Because here we go, folks. It's our first three up moon of the stream and also our first three up moment. Whenever we can get three lives in any game, in any one level, specifically, then that's considered a three at the moment, so there we go. Feel free to drop it in the chat. We have lots of sound effects to celebrate with. Once we get that streaming PC, we'll have more animation. We'll actually have like a, a little break where we uh, do a little three, le three at moon moment animation. Log on to StreamBig.net, folks. Need to buy those follows? Want to become famous? Ha <laughs> ha 
Uh, I'm just gonna roll with fate. Something happened and the video feed on my emulator just, like, paused for a moment. So our bonus stars are accruing, but because we're playing the randomizer, this is actually this number is actually counting how many exits we've found. <clears throat> so it's pretty handy to keep track of if that's something you care about. All right, Kappa, King Kappa. Whoa, that is not normally that speed. Randomized ball and chain speed, it's a little bit wild. I've not seen that before. <clears throat> oh, you son of a bitch. Does it sound like the music slightly different? I don't think so. We did. Did you see me play um, Super Mario World remade from memory? It was wild. I'm not sure if you got a chance to see that one, but basically, it was a group project where a bunch of people came together, Daryl, um, and redesigned this game from scratch. Everyone was assigned a stage or a screen, and everybody. Um, had to recreate a level without looking at a reference. So just from memory, like, oh. like what do you remember that screen being like? Um, and then also the music was was made that way as well, which I thought was really interesting. So the underwater level was close, but had a whole bunch of extra really cool like transitions and notes and chords. Um, I'll send it to you. It's a really really cool version of the game. We played it before. We'll we'll play it again. The whole game is. Um, the whole game is made, is remade. And some parts are completely different. Some aspects of levels that were really difficult, I guess someone just didn't remember, or maybe they blocked it out when they were recreating it. It's pretty rad. There's a, a video of me playing it, like all my streams are up on YouTube. Video of me playing it, it's just called uh, Super Mario World Redrawn. Or remade from not redrawn, remade from memory. So I believe it's the only stream I have with the word memory in the title, so you could look that up. Alright. We've got random no Yoshi zones as well, so if we had a Yoshi, you'd be kicked off. Oh come on, that was like a pixel off. I appreciate that Mecha Koopas are being introduced in this randomizer seed a lot earlier than just the screen before you fight Bowser, where they're super crucial and necessary for the fight. I always felt that the Mecha Koopas 
were like, uh, they felt like a last minute addition as an enemy, but they're a really interesting enemy. It was a shame you didn't see them throughout the game. Well, now we can. Yes. It always felt very rushed. They also introduced ninjas in that level as well, just before you fight Bowser. And you're like, oh, okay, great. thinking oh shit we only have one level left We've gotta wrap this up <clears throat> and it was like this guy who was super proud of his mecha koopa design and he just was waiting the whole game development period to share it with everyone and instantly people loved it but they didn't have any more space to put it in the game so it's kind of like putting up uh, octopus's garden up on the fridge because you're like oh cute Interesting that I opened up that path. <coughs> Excuse me. How are we going to be able to actually get to the secret exit is the question. We gotta get up there. So, we might have to go back. <laughs> Octago. Well, I mean, you know, the octopus is the drummer of an any good animal band, so it makes sense. Whoa, okay, we've got ice physics. <laughs> we have ice physics, alright. Excuse me. Nope. Completely different speed. Oh wow. Completely different speed on the platforms too. Holy oh. shit. We might not be prepared for vanilla cave three. seen the game Octodad? Yes, I have. It's pretty hilarious. I've never played it, but I've definitely seen people play it before. We might not be able to do this without Yoshi, or without a cake. You laughed so hard at that game. Did you play it? Yeah, I think we're gonna need... Oh, unless we... Let's just try it. I know it's weird.
Ooh. Ooh. See what I'm trying to do? Yeah, it's not gonna work. We can't get enough height. We need the cape. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Look at this. We can go back and get the secret exit there. Wow, randomizing the speed of these platforms is really interesting. Welcome to Pop Ocean. This is tough. The timing of this. Ooh. Oops. Could have had a three up. Could have been our second three at the moment. But we oofed it. Jeez. <sighs> Another section we need the cape for. Physics, thankfully. Ooh. That was some satisfying time. Ooh. And we have some 
unsatisfying timing. Okay. Forget the first one. Uh, forget the first one. Wait for it to go there. Let me do this. Spin jump. Thanks, emulator. Drop that watermelon block emote if you have it in the chat. Strawberries, watermelons. And some underutilized emotes these days. Nah, we just we just got lots of big fun. Okay, hype world five. Block and it's all about the questions. again. our second 3 up moon. If you got it in the chat, or if you got it as one of your emotes in your arsenal, drop it in the chat. Anytime we get 3 lives, or a 3 up moon, in any level, it's our 3 up moon. So we've had 2 this stream so far. So we'll Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice. A couple three down moons in there. No, I didn't think we'd actually fly over the goalpost. What the hell? when I can't even spell my own sound commands. It's like the Super Nintendo version of Tim Allen's Home Improvement Grunt. Bam! Okay, I'm back. Ooh. Some wild allergies right now. Oh. 
Oh. Let's enter the canopy of visions. A little bit of forest flight. Never hurt anybody. Is the key in the vanilla location? Yes, it is. Galaxy of Koopas, why? Well, why not? That's our second one up. There we go. Three, four, five. I think we got five or six in there. So drop that uh, three up emote if you got it. It's our third three up moment. Options. Let's go to Cheese Bridge Y first. Ooh. <laughs> I love the way that sound effects um, reverberate and delay here. Oh, 
I see you. Let's go. Right up Luigi's alley. There's a bunch of them, but we can't get feathers from them, apparently. Another three up moment, folks. Fireball throwing sledge bro. I've never seen that in this either. That's like 12 ups, man. That's way too many ups. Come on. Sure. I'm just gonna trust the sound effects that the good things are happening. Welcome to the stream. Can we get a shout out for Horatio? This is an interesting seed. There's a lot of different attributes to this. I had a friend randomize this one for me um, that are basically completely different. We've got fire bros, or 
fire sledgehammer bros. We have random speed in the ball and chain enemies as well as the, pla the like swinging platforms, which is very difficult. It's nice though. It's a nice little nuance. But I think we're doing pretty decent. We've had a bunch of 3-up moments. Hope you're doing well. And I haven't done Super Mario World um, randomized in a bit. So. I've now switched over to an evening schedule because I've got a full-time job now. Oh, just more ups. More ups and ups and ups and ups and ups. Donut Temple House. Oh yes. That was the dumbest charging chuck I've ever seen, even though I think it was a jumping chuck. Still. Ooh, this is a sad, sad place. The Donut Graveyard. Otherwise known as the Toilet? I'm confused. because I had to wait through all of this. So I just had to learn to get good at it. auto scroller level and it looks like this speed ooh no this isn't good okay the, it's gradually speeding up is what it seems to indicate here oh there's one one up
Да? This is a really interesting level to have auto scroll like this. Any level can be an auto scroller as well. Just because where this is gonna lead is gonna be interesting. Two up, three up, there we go. There's another three up moment. Feel free to drop the those sound effects and those emotes. I should be able to... Yeah. <laughs> this is tough. Really? Okay, ready, ready, watch this. Look, look, look. Uh, you're... You're kidding me! Okay, wait. There's no way. We're not stuck here. Try, we're not gonna be able to do it.
You're kidding me. <laughs> that was brutal. Yoshi's m Mirage. Who knows? Bam! That worked perfectly. What? Yeah, look at the speed here. Just move past that section. Wow. Good timing. Move it forward. Let's let's go. Pepperoni Mirage. Can I get a a 
personal pan pepperoni mirage pizza. I want it to look like there's pepperoni on that pizza, but I don't want any pepperoni on that pizza. But all the other toppings better make it look like there's pepperoni on that pizza. To me, it's all about the visual. Speaking of, if you like Tetris, I was talking about Tetris earlier, and if you like pizza, go check out Triple Z. Time it where you can hit him right before he lands. Or right when he lands. You can hit him again. There we go. He's got a lot of health. All the Koopalings have randomized health. Hit 
hit him in the air. That's what we gotta do. taken on a lot of castles actually but most of them have been in the special world here funny enough in the hype zone yo where's that gonna take us Alright, so the color palette has changed on the overworld, which is pretty cool. This happens usually when you beat that section of Star Road. Let's go for a Galaxy of Koopa's Y. With the Pidgets instead of Bullet Bill. Um, the bullet bills just look like pigeons now because we beat hype zone. Also, all the jumping piranha plants are going to look like jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins. And all the Koopas are going to be wearing Mario Bros. licensed Halloween masks, basically, because now they're fans of the Bros. Because they're who hooked on the brothers, the brothers, the brothers, the brothers, the brothers. I can't do it. Who hooked on the brothers? There we go. That's better. There's a Switch Palace. enemy in here for some reason. Yep. exit here in order to progress. Interesting. Hmm. I see. They're hooked on the brothers, the brothers, the brothers, the brothers. They're wearing masks. Let's go. 
To the pipe. Oh. This is looking like it's our only way to progress through the butter bridge zone. over that bridge every single morning. Three times a morning. And if there's one thing, god dang freight truck wheels don't get taught in freight truck wheel school. It's had a deal with butter. Right, Lieutenant Butter to the bridge. power-ups are just reduced to coins here, and that's an interesting addition as well. the hydrate. I don't have anything to hydrate with. Ooh, look at this little pumpkin. So we've seen Donut Meadow, Donut Castle, Donut Graveyard, Donut Fortress, Donut Meadow, Donut Temple. I think I said Meadow twice. We'll probably see the Meadow twice. Everything donuts. All the time. Okay. 
never a fun level to do. See, this is what happens to the piranha plants. Once you beat that hype zone, second area of Star Star Road or Star World, a lot of people call it Super Famicom World because the Super Famicom like logo is, or the like the four buttons on the controller is in the sky. Really don't need the coins here at this point, but it's just more for the sake of the completion of the level. If you have that watermelon block, drop it in the chat. If, you, if that's one of the emotes that you've got unlocked. I'm forever going to call those things the watermelon blocks. As opposed to their official title in the manual, Vertical Triangle Block. Or Triangle Block. I guess it is the only triangle block in the, the Mario games, so it makes sense. the stream if you're just joining we're playing some super mario world shuffled basically randomized we've got all the color palette of our overworld is actually changed just because we've got all the levels in hype zone or <laughs> star road completed 
or at least those eight bonus levels at the end of Star Round. If you beat them, then some sprites change like this. These are our Koopas. And colors change on the overworld. But to add to that nonsense, we're playing as Luigi. Any level can be underwater, any level can be at no Yoshi zone, any level can have ice physics, and also have any varying, like, dynamic um, difference of, like, uh, slipperiness, if that makes sense. So this level normally is an auto-scroller, and I would 100% much prefer to play this not as an auto-scroller, just like this, which is great. Frustrating as an auto scroller. Also, all the enemies are shuffled, all the bosses are shuffled, the boss health, the speed of certain platforms like ball and chain enemies and like ball and chain platforms, or rotating spinning platforms, things like that. The speed of that is all shuffled as well. Um, and if you go to my YouTube channel, there's a ton of different runs of Super Mario World Randomizer, and they're all completely different than this one. I highly recommend checking it out yourself. Check out the big list of game randomizers online, and every one of my YouTube, or sorry, every one of my streams is on YouTube, so you can go back and watch uh, a whole variety of different stuff. It's an interesting start. Is that nothing? Oh, it's something. <laughs> oh, I like the orange pipes with the pumpkins. That makes sense. We've got our Heath Ledger Joker Ghostfish. It just looks like a fish because of the color, the color scheme, and we're underwater. But it really is just a ghost sprite. Oh, I didn't expect that. Did you have supper? Eat supper. Make sure you have supper though. It's important. Entering Larry's domain. Let's do it. Now this one normally is an auto scroller. Oh come on. Come on. <clears throat> that didn't work out. Looks like we'll be able to skip kind of half of Vanilla Dome and just go straight to Forest of Illusion. We're apparently not getting any power-ups from these Switch Palace blocks. Oh. 
out. We can cheese this. That would be lovely. Let's try that again. So, whenever fire is underwater, for some reason, in Super Mario World, it just rises to the top. It floats to the top, so normally this fire would fall to the ground, but... We're actually safe underwater if it's throwing fire at us. Also... Goombas with wings, Koopas with wings and stuff like that, they automatically float up. In a water level. I've actually never used the cloud in a water level, and even though this is like the 30... 7th or 38th run of Super Mario World Randomizer that we've done on the, on the channel. And then we run into a cloud underwater section. This is a good level to get underwater because this is usually quite a difficult pipe to get to. Another pepperoni mirage. Except this time, the game doesn't know if it's real. The game can't even tell. Pepperoni mirage? And the checkpoints don't give us mushroom, or like they don't turn us into um, Super Luigi or Super Green Mario. I just realized you might be screwed. screwed? No, we're not. It's not here. Interesting. Now these are supposed to be pokies. Where, where are we going? It's this way. We have folks 42. Douglas Adams haunts our game again. No. Yep. 
Yep. Oh, come on. <laughs> no! Well, that is awful. That's perfect. Perfect and awful at the same time. I'm not going to give us any progression. You know what, we're going to... I think we're going to raid somebody. I think we might call it. Um, we could totally complete this, by the way. It is a completable seed. I don't think we're going to run into any soft locks. If we did, we would have already. Um, but we're going to raid somebody that we've never met before, I think. Stick around, we're gonna raid VG Dad Plays, who right now is playing Jump One Half, which is basically a really good um, sort of Kaizo like challenge mode ROM hack of Super Mario World. I've seen a lot of people play it before. Right now they're they're just hanging out and playing that. I've never met them before, they just happen to be playing some Super Mario World. So let's go from Super Mario World Randomizer to a really cool and challenging Super Mario World ROM hack. And go give VG Dad Plays a follow if you can. If you're not following me already, click that follow button. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for subscribing, um, if you're a recent subscriber. Um, and also, thanks for tuning in. Um, I've got a ton of other Super Mario World randomizer videos that you can go check out. Click that uh, follow button if you're on Twitch and you're not following already, as well as on Twitter, and that's how you'll know when and what I'm streaming next. But I usually stream from 5.30, 6 p.m. Pacific onward uh, every single day. All my VODs are up on my YouTube channel, you can watch on your own time, and uh, yeah, I just appreciate all the folks that have been hanging out. Always good to see you. Thank you Hypertension33, and thank you Camadeus137 for the recent follows. I will see you in VG Dad Plays chat. Take care. And see you tomorrow. <laughs>